technology scam and alluring advertisement behind MTFE fraud. Dengue symptom tough to identify as mixed up with COVID-19. Female tax officer kidnapped through ex-husband's plot. Those were the headlines. This is ATN News. Good evening, viewers. I'm Shazan Hassan with English Bulletin. So-called online trading platform, the Metaverse Foreign Exchange, MTFE, has made people fool. Experts say even the conscious, educated people lost all belongings through the technology scam and alluring advertisement. Through the name Common people thought the MTFE could be an agency like that of the capital market dealing with foreign currency. While it did not have a physical presence in Bangladesh, people searched it on Google, Facebook and YouTube. Seeing various activities, they found it as an easy way to earn money from home. Various videos and ads made many people in Bangladesh interested, with the majority getting involved after seeing others join. Hoping for substantial return, hundreds of people invested in the platform. A few, however, managed to gain a fraction of profits, but the majority of customers ultimately lost their investments when the illicit online gambling company seized its operation. The exact symptoms of dengue is tough to identify as it has been mixed up with COVID-19 symptoms. This is causing great confusion in patients as well as among the doctors about the exact diagnosis. Experts say even after getting dengue negative report, there is no cause to remain free concern. If fever remains within five days, patient could get severe condition. A large number of patients gather at the outdoor of Shudavardi Uddan hospital in the capital every day. They go to doctors with high fever and other symptoms. Around 80% of 1,200 patients carry the symptoms of fever. The number of dengue patients is yet to decrease. At the same time, spread of COVID-19 is also increasing. As a result, many patients get severe condition. So, the doctors advise the patient to consult with physicians for even the common flu. Information and Broadcasting Minister Dr. Hassan Mahmoud has said it seems the Rohingya camps have now turned into militant dens. The minister made the comment while addressing a seminar on the Rohingya crisis and situation in Bangladesh at the Senate building of Dhaka University on Saturday morning. Center for Genocide Studies of the university organized the event. The minister said Sheikh Hasina is now treated as the mother of humanity as she gave the Rohingyas shelter. At the same time, it has brightened Bangladesh's image globally. Replying to a question, Dr. Hassan Mahmoud said, not through war, the issue is being tried to be solved through diplomatic efforts. However, it needs the pressure from China, the information minister added. Father of the nation, Bangabudu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman's daughter, Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, is implementing the dreams of her father one after another. She is working relentlessly to move the country towards more prosperous level. Ruling Awam League Presidium member Atya Choudhury made the comment. She was addressing a discussion in capital Tanmundi 32 on Saturday to mark the National Morning Day and to commemorate August 21 grenade attack. Awam League's International Affairs Subcommittee organized the program. The subcommittee chairman Mohammad Zamir chaired the program. Awam League's International Affairs Secretary Dr. Shammi Ahmed delivered the welcome speech. Diplomats of USA, Canada, Australia, Germany, China, Kosovo, Argentina, Vietnam, Turkey and representatives of several other countries were present at the program. Addressing as chief guest, Motia Choudhury said, Sheikh Hasina has ensured food, clothes, books and other materials free for the sake of universal education. She has fulfilled all fundamental needs also, the Awami League leader added. Ganotontro Bikash Moncho, an alliance of 17 parties led by the National People's Party NPP, has demanded free, fair, neutral and acceptable election as per the constitution. NPP chairman and the coordinator of the alliance, Salahuddin Salu, 
made the demand at a press conference held at the National Press Club on Saturday afternoon. The alliance announced to nominate 300 candidates in the next polls for the sake of democracy and the continuation of development of the country. The speaker said those people now demand caretaker system had made the concept questionable. They, however, expressed optimism the election will be fair if the election commission performs its job with honesty, sincerity and determination. Ex-husband had hatched conspiracy to kidnap female tax officer in a bid to give her a good lesson. The plot was made with Mamun, former car driver of the female tax officer in exchange of big amount of money, says Rapid Action Battalion, RAB. Addressing a press conference at RAB Media Center in Dhaka on Saturday afternoon, RAB Legal and Media Wing Coordinator Commander Kondokar al Moin revealed the matter. The tax officer was kidnapped from in front of Vikaranis Anun School and College in capital Shiddeshuri area at around 8 p.m. on August 17. And on August 18, she managed to flee when the kidnappers waiting for another person at Shobujbag area. At the time, the locals caught the three kidnappers and handed it over to police. Law enforcers have arrested a total of six accused persons, including driver Mamun so far. However, mastermind of the plot, the first husband of the female tax officer, from additional secretary Harun Rashid, remains at large. Now, a short break. We'll be back soon with... Denmark government prepares bill to stop Quran burning. Shakib Al Hassan eyes on Asia Cup this time, not on World Cup. You're watching ATN News. This is News with English Bulletin. The Chhatru League, the student wing of the Awami League, will hold students' rally in the capital, Shurwa, the Uddan, on September 1. Chhatru League President Saddam Hussein made the disclosure at a press conference at Modur Canteen at Dhaka University campus on Saturday morning. Announcing to hold the biggest ever student rally, Saddam Hussein said around 5 lakh students will be gathered at the rally. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina will be present at the rally to be organized to recall Bongobundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman and Bongomata Fozilatun Nesa Mujib. The rally was scheduled to hold on the last day of the month of mourning but has been deferred in a bid to avoid hassle of the HSC examinees. Three persons, including a mother and daughter, died in separate incidents of electrocutions in Janaida. Quoting locals, police said Mohiro Nessa, a housewife, came in contact with live electric wire and fell on the floor of their house. When her daughter, Taslima, tried to save her, she too got electrocuted. They died on the spot. On the same day, Abdul Halim, a farmer at village Gobinathpur under Kaligonju Puzila, died from electrocution. He got electrocuted as came in contact in Laugh Live Wire on his way to cropland. Now news from around the world. In the face of widespread criticism and protest, Denmark is going to propose a bill to enact a law to ban the Holy Quran burning. Alongside the ban of flag burning of any country has also been kept in the proposed bill. Denmark's Justice Minister Peter Hamelgaard said his government is going to ban activities that harm the national interest. If the law comes into effect, it will apply on the desecration of the Quran as well as the Bible and the Torah. Violation of this law can result in fines and up to two years imprisonment. Denmark's Justice Minister has not said anything specific about when the bill will be presented in the parliament. The Danish Foreign Ministry says European countries have seen more than 170... 
Russian President Vladimir Putin will not attend the G20 summit going to be held in India next month, Kremlin announces. Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov said President Putin has no plan to visit India right now. Peskov added that Putin had just attended a gathering of leaders from BRICS group of emerging economies in South Africa by video link, not in person. The form of his participation in the G20 summit is to be clarified later, the spokesman said. The meeting will take place on September 9 and 10 in New Delhi. Putin also did not fly to Indonesia for the G20 summit last year. Now, sports news. Not the World Cup right now. Bangladesh cricket captain Shakeb al Hassan only eyes on the first two matches of the Asia Cup. Alongside head coach Chandi Gahatur Singh hopes for the Super 4 due to good preparation. They said this in a press meet on Saturday afternoon ahead of the departure of Sri Lanka to play in the Asia Cup. Shakib has gathered good ideas on Asia Cup preparation through meetings with the teammates. Bangladesh has the experience of playing in the finals of the Asia Cup in 2012, 2016 and 2018. Now Shakib has the responsibility to fulfill Asia Cup trophy dream with a team full of youths. Shakib said following the Asia Cup, the mission would be the World Cup. The performance in Asia Cup will be motivational for the World Cup, he added. Before ending the bulletin, the top stories once again. Technology scam and alluring advertisement behind MTFE fraud. Dengue symptom tough to identify as mixed up with COVID-19. Female tax officer kidnapped through ex-husband's plot. Denmark government prepares bill to stop Quran burning. And Chakeb al eyes on Asia Cup this time, not on World Cup. That's all from the newsroom for the moment. Thank you for being with us.